Do you want to install Oxygen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install Oxygen OS 9.0.2 based on Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So what are the things which you need? You need to have Twerp Recovery already installed and you need to go ahead and download the Oxygen OS ROM zip file for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro which is linked in the description of this video. Do note Installing this ROM on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro will result in a factory reset. So go ahead, back up your pictures, data, videos, anything important which you have. As for the functionality, I've tested the basic functionality and Wi-Fi, Volt, Bluetooth, camera, front and back both, all those things are working absolutely fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and show you how you can install this ROM and then we'll go ahead and do a brief review of what is working and what is not working all right youtube once you've transferred the oxygen os 9.0 pi rom zip file to the internal memory of your xiaomi redmi note 5 pro we need to go ahead and boot it into twerp recovery to do that we'll go ahead and turn off our phone once your phone is turned off you need to press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button until you boot into twerp recovery once we have booted into Twerp Recovery, we'll go ahead and click on Wipe. Next, go ahead and click on Advanced Wipe. Over here, we need to select Dalvik, Cache, Data, System, and Vendor. Once you've selected all those things, go ahead and swipe to Wipe. Once the wipe is complete, go ahead and click on the Home button. Back on the Home screen, we'll go ahead and click on Install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have transferred the Oxygen OS 9.0 Pi ROM zip file. In my case, is in the root directory this guy over here i'll go ahead and select it and then swipe to confirm the flash once the rom has flashed successfully go ahead and click on the home button once back on the home screen of twerp recovery go ahead and click on wipe go ahead and click on format data once you have typed in yes go ahead and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of your screen once this is done go ahead and click on the home button now we'll go ahead and click on reboot and select system the next screen go ahead and click on do not install and there it is we have the boot animation from oxygen os based on android 9.0 pi which means we've successfully installed oxygen os based on android 9.0 pi on a xiaomi redmi note 5 pro the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient there it is youtube the oxygen os wallpaper let's go ahead open the app drawer go into settings go into about phone the phone is showing up as OnePlus 6 because this is a ROM port from OnePlus 6 but if we scroll down the Android version is 9 based on Oxygen OS 9.0.2. Alright YouTube so I have set up the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro running Oxygen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi. Let's go ahead and go into settings. Let's go ahead and start with Wi-Fi and internet so dual volt is working, Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working. Let's go ahead and go into display. Adaptive brightness is working. I did not check night mode. Notch display, we don't need it, but it is still working. Ambient display, that is lift to display, is not working for me. Dark theme, accent color, all of these things are working for me. The sound is working absolutely fine. If you go into buttons and gestures, we don't have the alert slider, so you cannot use that. For quick gestures, double tap to wake is working. If you go into navigation bar and gestures, your three different kinds of navigation bar and gestures are working. So Oxygen OS or OnePlus gestures are working. The Android 9.0 Pi default gestures are working. And the back home and recents from Android 8.1 Oreo is also working. Let's go ahead and do a test of double tap power button for camera. That is working. As for the battery backup, I cannot tell you because I just installed this ROM. Storage is working absolutely fine security and lock screen so fingerprint is working but oneplus's face unlock is not working let us now go ahead and check out the utilities section so gaming mode is working parallel apps is working app locker is also working 
now let's go back to the home screen check out the camera so this is the one plus camera which comes installed let me go ahead and take a picture bam so the one plus default camera is working let us now go ahead and swap over to the front camera so there it is you can see the fan so the front camera is working on the default one plus camera application let's now go to the home screen go to the app drawer open manual camera test there it is all those boxes are checked which means camera to api is enabled now i have already installed the google pixel 3 camera apk on this guy i'll have a link to that in the description of this video it is working absolutely fine it is a bit slow a bit laggy but it works night sight works and the camera also works as for the n22 benchmark this is the benchmark score do note i am on the variant which has 3 gb of ram and 32 gb of internal storage that's it for this video youtube i hope my video helped you like shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you